I'm back with you. I'm going to tell you another story about a couple of friends I lost, or several of them, I don't know. But I want to tell you the story first about how um, Frank Morris in Mexico City on one of the last times that we met, which would have been, you know, probably around 95 or 96, um, he, he, and he went down this list of all of my friends that, you know, uh, he, he didn't say that he, he, I'm trying to remember how he said it. He said, he, he, he said, you ever wonder why you don't have a lot of friends that you had when you were younger? And I go, yeah. He goes, you think that, uh, it's because they didn't like you, but, and I go, that's not why it is. And he said, well, some of them did, some of them didn't, but you know what you ought to be asking yourself is, where are they? And I go, what do you mean? He goes, well, you ought to go looking for some of them. And that's how he, he told me that he had taken these friends of mine. And then he started going down the list. You remember that guy you wrestled with in high school, the one that ended up working at that trucking company? And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, have you seen him? No, I haven't. That guy's name was Al Russell. Big Al Russell. He was a heavyweight, and I wrestled 132 in high school. And he was a pretty good friend of mine, you know. He was a, uh, his dad was a truck driver, I think, if I remember right. Yeah, his dad was a truck driver. And he uh, ended up working at a trucking company. But, uh, you know, it, it was... It was only a few years ago that I figured out that Big Al Russell was on that list. And I'm saying his name right now because I'm hoping maybe he'll send me a message and say I'm still here. But again, I don't think so because everybody that Frank said you should go look for. I had a girlfriend when I was a teenager. Her name was Gwen Norris. And I really liked this girl, but she, wouldn't, she was a compulsive liar and I, I didn't like being lied to. And I went off and joined the Air Force. He told me that he got her, and the way he said it, he didn't say he got her, but when he's going down this list of the people who, you know, your friends that you haven't seen in a long time, he said, you know, that girl that whatever, and he was talking about her, and, and I go, yeah, I said, but she's still out there. I've seen her several times. And he goes, well, I, it took us a long time, but we found her. And... Uh, these are all his, he thinks he's taking them to be his slaves in hell. But he didn't tell that to me at the night he was going down the list. He, he was very good at being vague about things, and then some other time he would tell you other parts of it. So I have all these things in my head that I'm putting together now at my ripe young age of, well, I'll be 70 next month, okay? And uh, this went on most of my life. I'm lucky to be here talking to you. And you're kind of lucky that you're getting to talk to someone who personally knew the Zodiac Killer and, you know, can tell you the true story, the real story, what really happened. And I have so many encounters with him. But anyway, Big Al Russell, you know, I tried with through some friends to find him recently and nothing. There was a cheerleader in high school. Her name was Patty Suarez. I used to sit and talk to her in Spanish class all the time. And uh, they, uh, Frank and John and Clarence one time walked up to the door and <laughs> John Anglin looked in with his big eyes and he, his long jaw and he was really angry. They were, what happened here? They were angry because I was talking to this girl. And um, he told me that she was another one that uh, took them a long time. Uh, to He says, she, have you seen her? Have you heard from her? No, I don't. I haven't heard from her since high school. I said, well, it took a, us a long time to find her. But she came with a bonus. And I go, what are you talking about? And he goes, yeah, her sister was with her. And, um, yeah, I know someone who was very good friends with her sister. And that girl cannot find her. So, that's two of them, the Suarez sisters. Patty was a head cheerleader. She was a really pretty girl and so sweet. 
but uh, she could be mean as a rattlesnake too. Then uh, there was a teacher named Mrs. Jones at that high school, King High School, who had invited me to a teacher sort of a party. I was, I turned 18 in January of my senior year, so she could do that with me because I was a legal adult. And uh, these guys ended up abducting her from that party at a park right in front of me, but they were so smart about it, they would be on the other side of a car where I could only see a few things, and then she got in the car with them, and they took off, and I didn't know what happened. And um, the next day, the dean asked me about it. He goes, what happened at that party, uh, or whatever it was? And I told him uh, what I just told you. I saw these guys close in on her. She, had, she told me, she had spoke to me and said, I got to go to my car and get something. She went to her car and when I saw her bend over to get to the door these two guys popped up I guess they were crouched down and hiding behind the car that was parked next to that one they were very good at this they did it all the time for years and years and years and they closed in on her and it looked like they showed her something that looked like a badge and she looked like what I haven't done anything and she'd get in the car and she got in the car with them and the, and the car took off and I'm like but I couldn't really see her get in the car because she was on the other side of the car I mean anything could have happened and uh, Mrs. Jones is what I remember. Her name was Miss Jones. She was a real pretty teacher and really nice to me. The, then there was, um, let's see, there was another friend of mine. His name was Randy David Butler. I hope he gets a hold of me. I hope all of these people get a hold of me. I'd like to know that they're still alive and with us. But... Randy was a big guy. He weighed about 265, 275, was about six foot four. I'm six one, I weigh two twenty-five, and he pretty much towered over me. But uh we used to what I call tussle with each other a little bit, kind of like acting like we're wrestling or whatever. But he would come over sometimes really drunk and uh because he drank a lot. And, you know, he'd get kind of violent, so I'd tell him, you know, you need to go because I don't want to have to fight with you, you know, we're friends. And uh one time, or several times, he snuck up on me. I don't know where he parked his vehicle, but he was in the brush near my house in the bushes down in Florida, and I'm getting ready to go in the house, and he pops up and I'm, walks out of the bushes. I'm like, what the heck are you doing, Randy, trying to scare me like that? Because I carry a gun sometimes, you know, and I might shoot you. And he, I don't know what he said, but I told him, I said, you know, I met these guys in Mexico City, this guy that claims to be the Zodiac killer, and I've had some strange things come, happen here at my house. People come in and different things, so you never know when I'm going to have a gun. And yeah, we talked or whatever, and he left. Well, when Frank was going down the list, he told me, you remember that guy that, kind of a big guy that wrestled around with you a couple of times there at your house? And, uh, and when it was dark, and I go, yeah, and he goes, have you heard from him? They were there. They saw that. And, and, and it was dark that night. They could have easily walked out of the bushes and tried something with me. But then again, uh, I beat them at it so many times, they probably were too scared. And Frank was scared of the dark anyway. <laughs> can imagine that. He ruled the night, but he was scared of the dark. Okay, so that's um, uh, the names that I can remember right now. I'm, I'm, you know, just to let you know, there were other human beings involved in this. I've told you a lot of stories, and I told you, always told you I forgot the person's name because I did the the people that. Uh, but these are the people that I remember their names. If I remember more, I'll give you another video about it, and I really hope some of them get in touch with me.